Car Mechanic Simulator 2004. Uh, this game is available on Steam, currently in the sales, just under a tenner, and I'll put a link in the description. Welcome to Car Mechanic Simulator 2014. This is uh, a game that's a bit like Gearhead Gamut Garage from a few years back, if you remember that. Um, but it's a bit more up to date and uh, it's more of a puzzle game than a uh, than a real mechanic simulator game. But uh, let's see how we get on. So the, the initial tutorial tutorial is you just got to go and turn the radio on and then lift lift the jack thing. Done. Right. So that's the tutorial done. Um, it helps you through in the next uh, the next one as well. The next one we have to change some brake pads and inspect the brake discs. So spray, uh, change the brake pads on the front axle. Uh, check the condition of the brake discs. So first thing we need to do is to go and buy four new brake pads. So you go over to the computer. Now I did try to buy second hand ones when I first had a quick go on it. I've only done this level. Um, unfortunately you buy them already worn out so they didn't work so I had to buy... How many have I bought? Is that three or four? I think that's four now. Yep. So now we're going to go and have a look at the wheels. So the way this game works is you've got a um, a menu with the right mouse button which allows you to switch between assembling and disassembling, examining, showing the condition of parts and the repair order, which the repair order is what we saw before, tells us what we've got to do. So we're going to disassemble parts and then you just take out the bolts just by holding the left mouse button down on these bolts and the parts just disappear take the calipers out sorry the, the bolts out for the caliper and that too disappears so that brake pad was 11% Ooh, if you can click on it that one was 13% Now it asks us to put the brakes back on again, so we right click and go to assemble mode and we just move the camera around a bit so we can get that one at the back. Select a good brake pad in stock that we, that we purchased not that long ago and it's reminding us to examine the brake discs. To do that, click to the examine and click on the brake disc. Have a look, 62%. Don't have to change it. Although 62%, I think most garages will say, oh, nearly halfway, about time we replaced that. Apparently, we are, are, are very good to our customers. We just look at them. Uh, what have we got to do now? Go right click again, assemble. Let's put the caliper back on. Ah, uh, now I'm just taking the brake disc off again. Right click, assemble, we were already on assemble. Put that one back on again. Hope we didn't throw it away. Put the old caliper back on again. And the wheel. Same wheels we took off. And that's that wheel done. Uh, how do you come back out? There we go. Escape. Let's go around. I don't think I'm going to get a position on any pit stop team. Let's take those wheels off again. Oh, there's nuts off this wheel. Disappears into thin air. So 
remove that. Remove that one. And that one. The worn out ones. Uh, right click examine. Let's have a look at this disc. 64%. Right click assemble. Uh, let's move the camera around a bit so we can see that one there. That's good. We didn't throw away the one that we accidentally took off again. There, back on. Uh, what's next? Caliper. And wheel. That, I think, is us done. Let's have a look at the repair. Two ticks. That looks good to me. Proceed to the next order. So, would we make $100 out of that? Definitely a cheaper garage than the one I usually go to. Right, replace an air filter, an oil filter, and a fuel filter. Got my filters replaced over a year ago. Replace them all again, please. Another three hundred dollars. Let's go buy again. I guess we better stick to the new stuff. Air filter cover. Oh, you bought another brake pad then. Oil filter. What was the last one? Fuel filter, isn't it? Got the oil filter. Fuel filter, there we go. Right. Here is the car. Ooh. Open the hood. Let's have a look in the engine. Start with the air filter. Um, glowing red means to get that off, you need to take that off. To take that off, I need to take that off. And it disappears. That one. What is that? That is the air flow meter. Out comes the old air filter. Assembly. Let's put the new one in. Let's put the cover back on. Put the old one back on. Should be allowed to actually quote people for this, I think. I'd have charged more than $300 for this. Ooh. Let's put that on. Oh, I would have said you need a new meter as well. Oof. You don't want that breaking down when you're driving down the, the uh, dark country roads in the middle of winter, do you? Um, what was next? Um, ah, find out what was next. Oil filter. Now, oil filter will probably be around. That's the dip switch. Oh, look at that. Keeping oil between minimum and maximum. New oil has a golden colour while old one is black. Oh, it's got quite new oil in there. Obviously, the old filter's been doing its job. Um, there we go. There we go. Oil cap, oil filter. Remove the oil filter. Oil filter 35%. That must be 35% of life remaining, I guess. Oh. Engine block. What's going on? Ooh. Oh, re 
reassemble. There we go. Oil filter. Put the cap back on. Come on, we could at least charge them for a new cap, couldn't we? Yeah. Right, that's that done. Uh, replace the fuel filter. Now, I notice a lot of people have been having trouble finding the fuel filter on here. Ooh, I can't seem to get away from the car. What am I doing wrong? Let's go. There we go. Right. Shut the lid. How do we shut the lid? There we go. Now. Operate the lift. Because apparently it is back here somewhere. Inspect the undercarriage. And it's that bit there. Reassemble. Put the new one in. He was right, most of his filters did need changing. I think that should be it. And we're done. I still would have charged a lot more for that job. There's three things. Right. Uh, while driving bumpy roads, I hear knocking from the front wheel area. Please check the car. Replace worn out parts, please. Uh, perform a test drive. Ah, right. So this is the van that we'll be looking at. Now if we do that, it shows us how worn out certain things are. So oh, we can see. So I guess these are the bits we'll be looking for. Front wheel hubs and things like that. Probably in the wrong place to be looking at. This is more the engine thing I'm looking at. Condition unknown. What was the red thing? Oh, that's because you got to, to get the gearbox off, I'd have to take these things off. So, it's not showing me the suspension parts, is it? Check his oil while we're here. Oh, all oh, good quality oil again. Let's inspect the front wheel. Condition under inspect. Can you turn it around and have a look? Ah, oh, here we go. Seventy seven per cent. Sixty-three percent. Oh, I reckon it could be your sway bar, mate. That's looking in a very bad condition, your sway bar. Oh, wherever that thing was, the outer tie rod looks in terrible condition. What about your shock? Or your spring? Can I examine that? Examine. Don't know. Oh well. I suppose I should be following this. Form a test drive. Well, let's do that first then, shall we? Oh, let's better shut this down, otherwise I'm not really going to see where I'm going. There we go. But I think I know what's wrong with it already. Don't need to do a test drive. fast we'll go slowly oh, where am I going now accelerating braking there's a braking thing somewhere here my 
supposed to be going. they'll come back and tell us after that test drive what bit's broken right well the uh the wheels have got a uh, um a colour now, which they didn't before. Ah, oh, look, we'd, we'd already thought about those bits. So, it's um, a sway bar end link left, an, an outer tie rod. Let's have a look on this side. And a sway bar right. But your outer tie rod's all right on that side. I'd change them anyway, keep them as pairs, keep them even. Oh, does it? Has it updated this? No, replace all worn out parts. $300 still? How can it already be charged saying what the charge is before I've even found out what it needs? Right. Anyone remember what I needed? I mean, these fixed price repairs is pretty good value, isn't it? It could be anything wrong with it. Wrong with it. Oh, I needed one of those. That's a hundred dollars. These sway rods better be cheap. Shock absorber, sway bar, end link right, sway bar, end link left. I guess that's one each of those then. It's two hundred dollars worth of parts. That is. He's only getting charged like hundred dollars labour then. What are we doing here? Disassembly. Oh, I've got to take the wheel off first, haven't I? Of course I do. Assembly. Ooh. We'll put the new one on, yeah. Yep, 
easy as that. Could do with some new tyres as well, mate. But not if you're on a fixed price repair. Let's examine. Still can't examine what condition the suspension's in. I don't know what that's all about. Now, I'm not sure who has to repair the uh, front left bodywork that I kind of destroyed. Oh, there we go. When that barrier just jumped out at me. I mean, when I swerved to avoid a small child and a, and a cats that run across the road. Um, yeah, three hundred dollars. I still get. Are you getting charged? If I put the wheel back on. I can't remember. If I put the wheel back on. Oh yeah, need to put the wheel back on. Can't give it back to the customer without a wheel. They'll notice. We're done. Let's hope we can charge them a bit more than three hundred dollars for this next job, whatever that is. No, three hundred dollars. Perform an OBD scan. You can uh, can you scan onboard computer? I need to know if any electric parts report an error. Diagnostic for three hundred dollars now. That's more like the kind of price range that I'm after. Now somewhere in here there will be. There you go. Well, three hundred dollars, please. Done. kind of profit we're after. Didn't come back with any errors that I was aware of, so nothing for me to look at. Excellent. Repair the starter. I heard uh, I can have my start engine repaired here. It barely works. Well, it doesn't. I don't have the money for a new one. Can you repair it for $100? No, mate. It's going to cost you a lot more than that. How do I how do I put that up? I don't have a choice, do I? Hundred dollars it is, right? If he came in and said he wanted it for less than that, would he uh, would he get away with that? I don't know. Now, I saw the starter before. That's the starter there. So let's examine the starter. I can't examine this. Have I got to take it off to examine it? Maybe I've got to take it off. No. Now what? Start at six percent. Yeah, that's not good, is it? Um. Too many escape buttons. Right, let's have a look. What can we do for for your used parts? Hundred dollars. I don't really want to spend too much money on it because he's not giving me enough money for the labour, let alone the parts. Um, can I see a starter motor? One of these fuel filters, fuel pumps. 
Alright. Alternator. Fuel pump. Gearbox. Starter motor. $550. I'm missing something, aren't I? For $100, he's not having a $550 starter motor. What do we got? We got anything here we can look at? That's a stereo. That's not going to help us. Here we go. Prepare the starter for $93 and he's only going to give me $100 for it. That doesn't even pay for my coffee. I don't know what else I can do. It's unbelievable. What have I got in my inventory now? Oh, there's all the rotten, broken stuff. Oh, no. Oh, I can sell stuff. Four dollars for a worn out brake pad. Yeah, that's good. Let's get rid of those brake pads. And that fuel field. Maybe the oil field got 35% life left in it. You never know. I'm going to give that to somebody else. Brand new start, excellent. Um, this guy's got a bargain here, I'm telling you. Reassemble, let's put that back on. Seven dollars for a job like that. Don't tell your friends because I don't want seven dollar repairs. Seven dollar labour, ridiculous. You know, I've got I've got a child on the way. How am I gonna? Seven dollars. I'm gonna. I'm. I'm. I'm not gonna be able to feed, feed them for that. Ah, here we go. Perform a test drive. Replace all damaged parts. Shifting gears is much harder than it should be. There is probably something wrong with the clutch. A thousand dollars. I've got to do a test drive. I don't know. Test drive. Here we go. Oh, I was going to do something about this volume, wasn't I? Seems alright to me. Oh, steering's a bit harsh. Nothing wrong with it, mate. I'll take a thousand dollars, though. my mechanic decided to drive my car like that after looking at it I think I'd want some compensation right so 
Let's have a look. Gearbox is green. But there's something red down here. But I can't get to it though. Um, zoom out. Saw something red, I'm sure I did. Where is the clutch anyway? I guess it must be in the gearbox. Oh, it was red because I highlighted over that, and it means I have to take that off to replace that. Right, I think it was alright, mate. Nothing wrong with it. Repaired. Let me do it. Okay, um, what we're going to do is we're going to have a tea break, because um, that's what mechanics do. And we are. Uh, actually, it looks alright with those green wheels, doesn't it? The kids will be will be driving around Tesco's with, uh, with green wheels if they get a look at this. Look at it, brilliant. Um, yeah, so we have our tea break, and then we'll come back and look at the clutch um, afterwards. Thanks for watching. Car Mechanic Simulator 2014 is available on Steam. It's currently um, in a sale, so it's uh, just less than £10. Um, it, it, considering it's a bit of a silly game, it's it's, it's quite good fun, really. Um, if uh, if you like sort of puzzly kind of games that are a bit car-based, then uh, why not give it a go? Um, if, uh, if, if you're expecting it to be a Car Mechanic Simulator, then I think you're going to be a little bit disappointed with it, but uh, um, I quite enjoyed it for for a little while. Um, I don't think it's the sort of game that's going to hold my interest for very long, but um, it's a bit of a turn your brain off and just uh, just ha have a bit of fun for an hour or so.